Assalamualaikum everyone. A lot of us don't uh, utilize opportunities or fear making mistakes because we fear failure. And that's natural. But we do understand that if we don't, um, if we don't make mistakes, we won't learn. And if we don't learn, then we can't progress. And that's something that is quite acceptable and something we all would agree with as well. The problem is a lot of people misuse the concept of failure in how managers allow you to fail. Failure based out of laziness and not trying is something that should not be promoted. And it is not a feature of a high performing team or a great organization for that matter. If you make that effort, that is visible and that shows quality and that shows thought and design thinking, that's fine. That's something that managers should promote because all the big tech companies, all the big brand names, they failed at some point, but they made the effort and they failed and that's perfectly fine. But I've also personally experienced it in organizations and in, in different teams as well. A lot of people don't make the effort and they fail. And when you ask them that, you know, you made a mistake and you haven't put your best effort and you haven't put your best foot forward, they complain that, you know, you don't allow us to make mistakes. So that's, that's misusing the concept of failure. And that shouldn't be allowed. And that's something that will demotivate the entire, the, the rest of the team, which is actually making an effort. So for managers, failure is perfectly fine. Please allow your teams to make mistakes. But make sure failures after making a conscious effort, that should be fine. But fail, failure by those people who are lazy and don't want to make the effort, just want everything good happening to them without making the effort, that's something that shouldn't be promoted. And I am a strong advocate of the fact that you, even if you don't have such people in your team, that's perfectly fine. They, these people shouldn't be part of your organization because they derail the concept of high performance uh, culture um, that the leadership team and the management is trying to build.